How to make double-sided business cards on Canva. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make double-sided business cards on Canva. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your Canva and register or log in with your existing Canva account. And on the homepage of Canva, kindly go to the search bar and type business cards template. And after hitting enter, it will lead you in here, in which it will show you a different kind of template that you can use as your business cards template. And if you're looking for a specific kind of template, you can go to category and set the type of category that you want, such as business, social media, video, marketing, and many more. So I'm going to set this category as business. And below, you can choose the subcategory about business, or in other options is to choose each of this template. And as you can see, if you point a specific template, you will see the preview and the number of pages it contains. You can also see if the template is free or need to be upgraded or having a premium account. And after choosing a specific template, you will see its title and the owner of this design. And in order to use this template, just click customize this template. And upon doing so, it will lead you in here in which from here, it will enable you to customize or design the template that you choose. You can edit different kinds of elements it contains, such as the context, in which you can replace it by the name you want. So I'm going to delete this and change it into WebWiz. And aside from that, you can also change or edit the font of this text by clicking on the font style and select on the left side panel in which there's a variety of font style that you can choose, in which by clicking on different font style, it will enable you to see the preview of its font style. But since we're making a business card, I'm going to choose the font style that is formal. Also, aside from font style, you can also change the size of your text. And moreover, you can also change the color of your contacts, in which on the left side panel, you can scroll down and choose the kind of color that you want. And based on my background, I'm going to choose the white color. And also, you can also change the details of your business card, including your phone number, your business address, your email address, and even the website of your business. And as you can see on the right side, you can also customize the company name. So I'm going to change this into YouTube. And same process in which you can also customize the font style the size of its font, or even the color of this text. In addition, you can also change the logo of your business card. By deleting this logo template, you can replace it by going on the left side panel and proceed by clicking Uploads to directly upload your own logo. So just scroll down and select the logo that you want, in which you can just drag it into your timeline. And after dragging the logo to your timeline, you can resize it depending on the size that you want. And for the other options, you can also use the elements on the left side panel, in which on the elements, kindly find the frames. Or you can just simply entering on the search bar and type frame, in which under the frame, you will see a variety of shape image that can make your picture into this frame. So in all of this frame, I'm going to choose the formal one, which is the circle shape in which you can drag it and resize it on the size that you desire. And after dragging and resizing the frames, the next thing that you need to do is to put your logo on those frames. And to do that, just go to the left side panel and click Uploads. And after that, just drag your picture logo to your timeline and attach it into the frame. And as you can see, your logo is now shaped into a circle form. Now moving on to the next page, we also need to customize the company name and which just same process by clicking on it and entering your own company name. So I'm going to put YouTube in which you can also customize the size, the font style, or even the color of this text. And after customizing the company name, the next thing is to customize the logo. So just go on the left side panel under elements and click on frame. And after dragging the frame into your timeline, you can also customize the size of it 
and the position of it to your business card. And after customizing the position and the size of this frame, we can now insert or upload our logo. And to do that, just go to the left side panel and click Uploads, in which you can just simply drag your logo into your timeline and insert it in a frame. And after customizing the content and details of this business card, we can now proceed by customizing or changing the background design of this business card, in which by clicking on it and proceeding on the left side panel under the design, in which there's a variety of background design that you can choose. Or you can just simply remove it and change the color that you want. So let's just adjust the color of the context to make the content or details of this business card to be visible. And after that, by clicking on our timeline, we can change the color of this background. So just click on the color options, in which on the left side panel, you will see a variety of colors that you can choose as a background color. You may choose a solid colors or a gradients one. So I'm going to choose this gradients color and you will see the preview effect of this to your business card. And don't forget to do the same process onto the other page of your business card. And after customizing the background color, you may also add different kind of elements that would make your business card more interesting and enthusiastic to look at. Also, you can explore on the left side panel under design and proceed by clicking the style section in which you will see a variety of creative brand style that you can choose or combination color that might help you in designing your own business card. And aside from styles, you can also explore on elements, which is also located on the left side panel, and proceed on graphics, in which under the graphics design, you will see a variety of elements figure that you can choose, which is very helpful in creating your own business card. So you can just explore it and find different kind of stickers and designing your own business card. And after adding all of the elements and designs, the next thing that you need to do is to download it or print it into a hard copy. And to do that, just click the share button on the top right corner. So just scroll down and click download. And upon clicking on download, it will lead you in here. In which under the file type, you can select either JPEG or PNG as suggested in Canva. And after selecting either of those two, you can proceed by clicking the download button. Or in other options, you can do that by clicking on the print business cards, in which upon clicking on it, it will lead you in here. And in here, it will show you the preview of what your business cards look like when it is printed or in hard copy. And below, you will see the other details of your business card. And to continue, just click continue button, in which it will show you the corresponding amount of printing this guide of business cards. So that is just how to make a double-sided business cards on Canva. Thank you.